head right now is called video in painting and this is the ability to take either an object or even animals and insert it into existing footage all right this is disturbing imagine listen i want you to imagine you've spent hours and hours learning a craft and understanding the nitty which is the fundamentals and the basics of the craft right yes it's time i'm going to break through into the industry and cause some heads to turn and one day you go on the internet and you realize that all the hours you've been putting in to learn what you're learning all the pain blood sweat and tears you've placed into what you are learning is all gone to waste because apparently there's an app that can do what you can do better and even worse faster less than a minute of what you spend about a day or two working on what am i talking about vfx and ai if you're a vfx artist you should be worried at least that is my point of view and that is my story upon the years i've been learning vfx and learning especially cgi integration where you get 3d objects and you add it to your live footage or a live the live footage and integrate it to make it look like it's in the actual footage and i've been using blender new davinci resolve and some other incredible softwares i can now do some things that was challenging before because i have improved and i've been putting in the work i go to the internet and i find a video about pika labs being able to just integrate an entire digital created pixel whatever the point is they can let you upload a picture and that picture will turn into an animation and integrate it into a live footage and this is so disturbing it's it drives me so crazy i used to hear that ai are coming for our jobs but i didn't know it's going to be this technical i mean vfx is a very technical skill to learn you need to really know a lot of things to be a good vfx artist you need to know photography you need to actually even know filmmaking to even be a good vfx artist be a good animator, be a, a good light scene. I, I, you know what I'm talking about. And this is coming from a point of frustration. Because right now, one Joe sitting in his apartment, down in his basement, who has never touched any VFX software, can just generate an image that he didn't create with another AI, upload that image, add his own videos to it, and it will be integrated as if he did a VFX work. But he did not do it. And this is a wake up call to everyone else. If you are in a field and you think it's technical and you think AI can't come for it, well, actually AI can. So I've come to the conclusion that right now, the only thing that will separate the good artists from the great artists are the people who actually know how what they are using works and understand and are able to tell good stories. Because right now, if I'm going to spend three hours on a shot, someone who knows nothing about color tracking, who knows nothing about lighting, who knows nothing about getting the shadow catches? Who knows nothing about much moving? Can just get a picture, put it in a video, and he's done. And that's going to take me hours to do. Now, the ball is in our court, and it has already started rolling. So the best thing to do now is to integrate AI in your workflows, guys. I know, we've been pushing back so much on AI, and we don't want AI in our workflows, but it's inevitable. It's something that's happening already, and I've seen it firsthand. Look at what Pika Labs can do. Look at it. Even the top, top, top VFX artists might not even be able to pull it off in some shots. But this thing is making it so, so easy. Making it look so easy. But my point and my frustration is that it's going to make people think VFX is easy. It's, make, it's going to make people think that VFX is not a tedious process which is my problem and what hurts me is i've put a lot of time effort into this craft and this is what ai is doing to this craft well i guess i've wanted long enough so um if you want to see what it can actually do just get your picture get your video and send it to pika labs and see what it can do and uh just think about your life yeah so it's not it's not all doom and gloom for vfx artists I mean, you can still succeed if you know you know how to work early and get the same results. So, yeah, that is it. Um, that's the video I was just thinking of making, and I guess I had to make it because someone needs to talk about this. Yeah, 
I mean, I don't, I'm not against AI. I'm against AI that actually does not let the person, you know, engage in any, any skilled activities. You understand? If you're going to create an AI, create an AI for repetitive, tedious tasks that artists do not want to perform. Like rotoscopy, like retopology, you know, like camera tracking, those things. But an AI that does it all and makes the average job be able to do it in a matter of minutes is crazy. I would really love softwares, and I know some of them are already there, but I really love a good software that can rotoscope subjects out and the hair detail and everything is there without using a green screen. And that would even help artists to even be more creative, work faster, and deliver high quality works. I would really love an AI software that, that can color match footages for it to fit the elements you're adding to your footages. That is what we need. Not this. Not this. Anyway, that's what I have for you today. If you like this video, be sure to like. And if you're feeling the same way I'm feeling, share your frustration down in the comment section and share with a friend who is probably, you know, into VFX. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching and peace out.